Okay guys, it is finally here, the Artsa Christmas box, and I am so excited to get into this box and see what is included. I've had two other Artsa box so far, and this one I am most excited about. The other two were beautiful, but I was just so excited for the Christmas season and the things that, that they um, chose to put in this box. So let's dig in and see what's inside. As soon as you open this box up, you have some wonderful smells of Christmas and spice. I just can't wait to get in here and see what is down there. But first off, let's talk about the paperwork. Now, Arts of Box always includes some wonderful educational stuff to teach your family, your kids, or even just yourself um, about Israel and the artisans and just some really cool, interesting information. So first off, they have a little belly band around this, but they include postcards. So the first postcard is from the Manger Square. And I like to put these on our big whiteboard for homeschool since we do homeschool and the kids can look at it and talk about it, ask questions. So this is a great um, little addition to our homeschool experience. But even if you don't homeschool, these are some great things to work through as a family. We also have Jaffa, and then they always include a recipe card. And so this one is for the Walnut Pecan Halva Cake, and my kids love baking and cooking, so this is a really fun thing that they include. Now, you can still purchase this for Christmas gifts. Um, I actually purchased one for my brother and his family, so hopefully they don't watch us because they actually open up their presents on Christmas Day, like you should, um, but anyways, this is just something that is a great gift to give. And it's for me, it's knowing um, that this comes from the Holy Land. That's just such a cool thing for me to think about and um, to know. And the educational side of it is amazing as well. So anywhere from like little kids to older adults can appreciate this box. So in this little section we have what is included in this quarter's box so they talk about everything and then um, we also have all the artisans so it'll kind of give what they made and what's included in the box and a little bit more about their story so we have four different cards today about um, different artisans that are included in this box and then our last little paperwork here is um it says box number six christmas and then it has um a couple different hebrew words to learn and it's just talking about christmas and it says we hope this note finds you and your family as well at this incredibly special time of year christmas is nearly upon us and we at arts couldn't be more excited there's nothing like seeing the old city of jaffa adorned in christmas lights and trees go up in nazareth and bethlehem Anyways, so it kind of just talks about Israel and what they do for Christmas, and um, you get to learn a little bit of Hebrew. Okay, I just undid all the packaging so there wasn't so much crinkly in this video, but I did want to show you everything that is included in the subscription box. The first thing we have is this pomegranate fruit and herbal infusion. It does have some pineapples, papaya, cranberries, and obviously pomegranate in it. And I read that you can create this in hot water or cold water. And I think this is going to be so much fun. My daughter will love this. And it's going to be a great little mid-afternoon drink. So um, I'll tell you how I like it later. We also have these holy cacao bars. We have a pumpkin spice flavored. And then we also have, I believe it's called Soklov flavored, which is made out of white chocolate. And it has um, some orange extract, cinnamon, rose extract, and vanilla in it. So that smells so good. You can even smell it through the packaging. So can't wait to try these. And then our last food item is this halva. This is pecan halva from Ethiopian sesame. You can see the pecans on the bottom. And it does say this quintessential delicious Israel dessert can be enjoyed straight out of the jar or mixed into our mouth-watering desserts. So I can't wait to try this. My son loves trying new things. Um, he's adventurous, so we'll try this together probably. But it looks like it should be pretty good. 
We also have another soap. I believe it was in the Galilee box. We had a soap and my husband and I loved that soap and just ran out of it um, a couple weeks ago. And so I was looking forward to getting a new soap. Um, this smells so good. I think this is one of the things that was smelling up the box and making it smell so delicious. Um, but anyways, she makes awesome soaps. So this is definitely worth it. We also have an olive wood little candle ornament. Now this olive wood is over 150 years old, it says. And I think this is going to look so awesome on our tree this year. But not only that, but we have this little thing. Now this is probably my second favorite thing out of this subscription box. This is a beautiful nativity scene. It says Bethlehem right on the bottom. And it is also made out of olive wood and it's going to go perfectly on this little shelf that I have. And I can't wait to display that this year. But here's my favorite thing that came. This is Peace Unto Your Home. So this is for the premium subscribers. So if you pay a little bit more, you usually get something extra, like sometimes it was a craft or something like that. Um, but this paper crafting is impeccable. Um, it is Peace Unto Your Home. And it looks like it has almost like an alcohol ink background with these blues and greens. I cannot wait to find a perfect spot to hang this up in our home. And it also came with this frame, which was really nice. But something my daughter is probably most excited about is this fantastic Holy Land hand-created coloring book. Now, this coloring book is awesome because it has one side that's coloring and then it also has some information on the left hand side so each place is going to have a little information and some of them have some biblical references to them and i think this is great oh this is the mosaic from the sea of galilee if you remember that i don't know if you can tell but you can see the two fish in the basket um, in the middle and that was something that we saw in the Galilee um, subscription box. Um, but anyways, you have the biblical reference on the left-hand side and the information. And I think kids alike and adults will both love coloring in this coloring book and finding out more about the areas around Israel. The last thing I have here are these paintings. Um, obviously these are just prints, but they are paintings of places around Israel um, linked up with different references. This one is, he turned the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into the flowing springs, Psalms 107, 35. Then we have, as water reflects the face, so one's life reflect, reflects the heart, Proverbs 27, 19. And then the last one we have is out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. This one's just so beautiful. So that is it for this Christmas subscription box. You still have time to buy this for loved ones. If you are looking for a great family gift, I think this is perfect. Or if you just don't know what to get someone um, and they love history and the Bible, this is going to be an awesome gift for them. Um, you'll get so many different things to try out like this halva and the pomegranate herbal infusion. Unfortunately, these chocolate bars probably won't last long in my house. Um, but isn't this so sweet? This is so beautiful. One of my favorite things. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd appreciate it so much if you did so. Um, you can also follow me over on Instagram at wonderfully made handcrafting. I love doing these subscription box unboxings, but I also do Bible journaling over there on Instagram and um, some other crafting. So I would appreciate it if you follow me over there. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.